Here's how to add standards and controls if you have created a quantitative or qualitative assay. From the home page, open the protocols page. From the installed protocols list, choose the quantitative or qualitative protocol you want to add standards and controls to. From the button bar under the installed protocol list, click new standard control. The standard control details tab opens. Next, you will enter information about the standards and controls. If you are creating a standards and control kit, start by entering a kit name in the name box under the enter a kit name to create a kit section. Then, in the standard control kit lot number box, enter the kit lot number. In the expiration box, enter the expiration date using the double digit month, double digit day, and four digit year format. And finally, in the manufacturer box, enter the manufacturer name. For each standard, provide a name, lot number, expiration, and manufacturer. If the information you entered applies to all standards, select the piece of information in the first standard and click the Apply Values Down arrow. Then, go back and add the values for each standard. If the values are the same across all analytes, you can click the right Apply Values arrow to repeat the numbers across multiple fields. When entering a dilution factor, keep in mind that most standards are numbered from the lowest concentration to the highest by the manufacturer. In order to apply a dilution factor from highest to lowest, you can reorder the standards by clicking the reagent column header to reverse the standards order. Then select the first analyte in the column to dilute. From the dilution box, select a value from the drop down list. Or Enter a value manually. Click the Apply button next to the dilution factor. This will fill the values down all standards in that column. You may click the reagent column header again to reorder the standards by number. Again, enter the name, lot number, expiration, and manufacturer for each control. You may use the Apply Across button and Apply Down button as needed. Enter values for expected, low, and high. For example, after you have entered the values for the expected range, click the radio button for low range and add the low values for each control's analytes. Repeat this process for the high range. The name, lot number, expiration, and manufacturer information stays populated, so the analyte values are all that need to be added. Click Save to save the standards and control.